Howdy, welcome again to another Let's Play, and this time I've chosen to do Solomon's Key. Slightly unknown, although if you had a NES back in the day and you rented or played a lot of games, then you may remember this one. It's a puzzle game made by Tecmo. A rather good one, actually. I'll tell you about the controls. It's pretty basic. All you can do is jump and create or remove blocks with A. Or you can remove them high, uh, high or low. The goal is in each room to collect the key and get out the door. Sounds easy, but as the game progresses, it gets a lot harder. And you so you're called Dana, and um, on the cover art, you look like a guy, and I think it's supposed to be a guy, but. Dana, is that really a boy's name? Just think about it. Anyway, this is Solomon's Key. One of my... Uh, favorite may be a wrong word, but I have played this game a lot of times in the early days when I just had an NES, when I was six or seven years old, and uh, it was quite frustrating at times, especially the later rooms. But you'll see them eventually. Um, it has about 50 rooms. And it's... Uh, the About each 5 or 6 rooms you get a new... Uh, con Zodiac constellation. You start with Aries and you end with uh, Piscus, I think. No. There we go. Each enemy moves differently and can be killed differently. Some cannot be killed with uh, blocks, some you, some you have to drop down. And some are in invincible unless you throw a fireball at them. But I want to save the fireballs when it's absolutely necessary, because there's not many of them. And you really need them eventually. Oh, just walk further, you silly white thing. Dragon, whatever you are. Come on. Walk. Goodbye. Music is good, although there's only one music track. No, no, there's two music tracks in the whole game. Not much, but quality over quantity, right? As you may have noticed, there's a timer up the screen. Well, it is a timer, but it says life. So basically, if you run out of life, if you run out of time, excuse me. If you, run, if you run out of time, or run out of life, whatever you want to call it, then you're screwed. End of game. Oh, yep, get the... And don't die! Thanks! That was a good jump. I'm gonna block that one in. And kill... no. Kill this thing. I could pick up the, the sign up there, but it's just points. There's nothing extra you get. You release this room, try the next room. Yep. Oh, we move to Taurus now. So you see a nice picture of a Taurus in here. Oh, this is a lovely stage. Hey, you gotta pay attention to the mirrors. You cannot uh, make blocks appear on mirrors. I'm gonna get rid of this guy though. If you stand too close, he won't walk, so walk away and then die. In general, where items are, you cannot make blocks appear. Look. See, you can't. You have to, have to remove them first. And there's the key. I'm gonna just make a run for it. I still got three fireballs, but I can't carry more unless I find some more scroll paper. You can find that sometimes, but it's rare. Oh, this stage sucks. Like I said, we can't carry anymore, but there's a big fireball up here, so we're going to use this and pick it up. The taller fireballs go through multiple enemies, which is really good. Uh, we have to run. 
ghosts destroy your blocks, but they just keep going back and forth until they run out. Have to use a fireball there. I think one again. And now we should be able to get to the exit. In this game, you jump with up. Kind of annoying, but... A is for making blocks, B is for shooting fireballs. No, you don't. Fairies are just for extra points, or, I don't know, 9 give a life or something. If you get a game over, if you lose all lives, there's no continue option. You have to press a certain button combination. Oh, this room is looks lovely, right? You can also break a block with your head. Really well designed puzzle game. Oh, on the left, on the right, can you see that's a piece of, par piece of parchment? We're gonna try to get that to more f so we can carry more fireballs. But I gotta be really careful first. If I screw up once, I die. Ha, goodbye. I can go over the top here. Drop down here. Oh, how am I gonna do this? Go away. And I'm gonna block you in. There. Um. Just making sure nothing comes in here. There we go. Um, how am I gonna do this? Well, first off, I want that to go away. Oh, uh, that didn't help. I can block you in, though. Shit. Almost got killed there. There we go. Um, yeah, this will work. I have to be very careful, though. Duck. Oh, it didn't work. I thought it would work. Dang. Well, it's a good thing I found out now. Yeah, we picked up the key before, so we don't have to do that again. So we're just going for the parchment straight away. I have a huge fireball. I think I'll use it to kill some of these things in here. And fire away! He killed three. Very good. I'm gonna block you in. And now we can get the piece of parchment. Ah, oh, I should have picked up the fireball. No matter. You get s certain bonus stages every now and then to pick up a lot of goodies. I think every nine levels or something. Um, what's this? Oh, vertical ghosts. They're the same as the horizontal ones, except they have a different pattern. We want to go to the top. It's going to be tricky, though. Oh, shit! Oh, if you make one appear right behind him, he goes to the right immediately. He changes direction immediately. But we made it. Now this is going to be very tricky. I I suppose I'll pick up the sign. Um, we're gonna alter the timing on these things first. Just I want to make sure that they get better. Now they're very close. I want to jump down and grab all of it in one swoop. Okay. Now! That was excellent! And we got three fireballs again. Room number eight? Oh, hidden. Yeah, that's a bonus stage. Just try to collect as many things as possible before the time runs out. You can't die here, but we don't want to, of course. Even though those things fall down, they kill you, so be careful. Just gonna break as many things as possible and find hopefully a fireball or two. A blue hourglass would be nice too, that gives more time so we can explore some more. 
almost have 10 fairies. I think you got a new life or something. No, no. Time's almost out. Uh oh. I have to run now. Don't want to die here. Oh well. Picked up a fairy or two. This is good as well. Oh, Gemini. Yep, Gemini. That flame cannot be killed at all. So, if you want to get the key, you have to drop down there. So, the first thing I'm going to do is do that. You actually can't stand on it, just very close to it. You have to be very careful. And now. Can we do anything? Yeah, we can do this. And we should be able to make it now. Although it's gonna be close. Goodbye. Mind the fireball. Let's kill this thing first. Oh, come on. Goodbye. Uh, how am I gonna do this without dying? I guess I go in now. Drop this. And now we go. Although we're gonna get the the bell first. Wanna get a tenth fairy. Oh dang it. I thought I could go on go on there. Yeah, the game has a lot of I thought I could, but it's just experience really to know what works and what doesn't. Besides just the beginning of the game, so I'm allowed to make mistakes, right? Um Another room down. Room 10! We're at one-fifth of the game now. But if you get a game over, you usually cannot continue. You have to start at room 1 again, but we're not, we're not gonna do that. I know the code how to continue. Have to hold up on the D-pad and press A and B at the same time. Okay, this is going to be annoying. And don't bother us again. Uh, how am I gonna do this? Do that, I think. Who did I screw myself over just now? No, I can't. Can I drop a block on the other side? Hold on. I think it was possible if you. Yeah, you can. Very close. Not a piece of parchment piece of parchment up there. Fairy in my way. You can't drop a block on a fairy as well. Yeah, you got a one up for every ten fairies. That was it. We're gonna get the piece of parchment. No you don't oh I was too late there. Terrible! Eh, the timing on the jumping is sometimes a bit awkward. Alright, just keep going. Shit. And goodbye. Now, I don't have to do complicated here, so I can just do this and very edge. That's very close. After this room I have to stop the video. If the fairy doesn't decide to screw me over. I'm gonna pick up the parchment though. I want it. Just goodbye. Oh, fairy, nice. And I'll see you next video. Just gonna put a pause here. Boop. Let's pause. Yeah. See you next video.